Here we go. Here we go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for another video. So today I'm going to talk about an app that I think you guys would find very helpful and very useful when it comes to your cosmetics as well as your personal care products. And this app is a great way to find out what products are safest for you when it comes to your cosmetics and your personal care, which ones are not the safest, which ones contain a lot of toxic ingredients, and which ones do not. Finding safer alternatives when it comes to your personal care and your cosmetics can be challenging, but it's not impossible. The Think Dirty app empowers and educates the consumer on the cosmetic industry by allowing them to make an informed decision on what products to purchase. The Think Dirty app is the best way to change over to cleaner options, one product at a time. So right now I'm just gonna pull up the app so you guys can see what it is and how to use it. So as you can see, I'm in my app store and I've already typed in Think Dirty in the search. So you just hit go and it should be the first option, should be the first option that comes up. So I've already got it installed, of course. So I'm gonna hit open and it takes you right to the home page of the Think Dirty app. And as you can see, first at the very top, there are several, several categories. I'll just kind of scroll so you can see. I know I'm scrolling fast, but I'll go back over it. So um, some of the categories include hand washing, hand sanitizing, first aid, deodorant, vitamins, uh, sun care, nails, lip, hair, cleansers, mascara, fragrances, toothpaste, men, household, just a lot of different categories, but there's over a million products that you can search. Now, will you find every single product on this app? No, but you can submit um, for submission for it, and I'll talk to you about that a little later. Now, at the bottom of the app, you'll see a couple functions down below. You have your home button there at the bottom, the next button right beside it, this is gonna be your history. It shows you items viewed, items scanned, and items that you've submitted. Also right here in the middle, you have the barcode scanning. You can scan over 350,000 cosmetics and personal care, which the majority is in the US and the Canadian database. When you go into the settings, you'll see that Think30 has a dirty meter. And this means a comprehensive rating is given along with detailed but easy to understand information on ingredients, certifications, and health impacts. So with a zero to three rating, the product does not contain any ingredients which have a documented potential negative health impact. Four to seven rating means the product's ingredients have potential moderate negative long-term health effects. And from the rating eight to 10, the product's ingredients have potential serious negative long-term health effects. And NR just means the ingredients are not yet rated. And above you can see all of the potential negative side effects that a product can have, anywhere from triggering asthma, to disrupting the hormones, interfering with the male reproductive health, blindness. You'll also see breast cancer on here, just different things that are really bad. You'll also see in the app that my bathroom shelf, which I don't have anything in my shelf right now, but the bathroom rating or bathroom shelf is just a way to keep track of what's already in your bathroom. You can see what may be potentially harmful for you. It may be some things that you need to get rid of that may be harmful for you, or maybe some things that you need to continue to purchase that may be good for you. So just to show you an example of how this works, I'm just gonna pick a category at the top here. Uh, let's, do, um, let's do shampoo. So automatically you'll always see the products that are rated the best first and then it just goes down to the worst. So you'll just see the ratings there. So I'm going to see if I can go down, see how far I can go to find some really bad ones. I just want to see what shampoos are rated the worst. So I'm trying to hurry up and get to it. And here we go. Wow. Carol's Daughter. Now this one just came out not long ago. The Wash Day Delight Water to Foam Shampoo. This one is rated at eight. So let's see what's going on with this. Okay, so the first thing is perfume or fragrance. And that's why it's rated dirty. <laughs> so again, fragrance and also known as almond fragrance and some other words I can't hardly pronounce, apricot fragrance, aroma fragrance. And uh, shows the usage of it, the health impacts. You'll see possible allergic reactions, possible carcinogen. And then an explanation of what fragrance is or whatever the ingredient that's harmful is. Um, so that's very, very interesting. What I also like about the app is it has a UPC submission. So if there's a product missing on the app that you don't see, you can scan and submit a barcode to them. And after they get that submission and do their research, you'll be notified and then the information will be available in the database of that product that you submitted. 
So right now I'm just going to take you in the bathroom with me and I'm going to scan some random products that I have in my bathroom to see how dirty or how clean they are. So let's go. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom. I have some things here in my basket that I use on a daily. So we're just going to pick something randomly out of my basket. So I think I'll start with this Pons because I just recently bought this. This is the Pons uh, Clarent B3. This is a dark spot correcting cream. This is a non rating and this is what I've been putting on my skin for the past couple of weeks now. It says mild irritation when contact with when contact with eyes, respiratory and skin irritation, skin uh, skin irritation, FDA limit, estrogenic effects were noted in laboratory animals at concentration close to those experienced by sunscreen users possible carcinogen, possible endocrine disruptor, possible allergic reaction. Wow, that's all I need to see. Okay, so I'm gonna try from Arm & Hammer the Essentials with Natural Deodorizers. This is supposed to be free of aluminum, parabens, and phthalates. It's supposed to be a clean deodorant, so we're gonna find out. So even though it doesn't have the um, phthalates and parabens and aluminum, it has fragrance, and that's not good. And this is rated an eight. Oh man, and I like that deodorant too. So now I'm gonna try the Jane Carter Solution Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, so this is what we're looking like for a Jane Carter Solution. This one is rated an eight because of fragrance. And also something called phenyl, phenyl null. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Phenyl Thinyl, 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 no, I don't know what that is. Something I can't pronounce. So for the health impacts, uh, potential neurotoxin, ooh, can depress the central nervous system, may cause vomiting and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration in infants, skin irritation. Oh man, and I like this leave-in conditioner. So now I'm gonna try the Curly Magic from Uncle Funky's Daughter. This is my favorite curly hair product. So this one is rated as a four rating, which is pretty decent. So what gave it a four was the chamomile. Everything else is rated clean. So as far as the health impacts, it says pregnant women use with precaution. So that's probably why it was given a four. So other than that, the ingredients are pretty clean. So we're gonna try one more, which is from the Honey Pot to see how clean or how dirty the Honey Pot is. So all green, that means it is a clean product and it's rated a three. And you can see all the ingredients there all lit up in green. So nothing harmful or potentially harmful for the body. So that concludes the video guys. I hope you found this video to be very informative, very enlightening. I hope you do download this app so you can use it every day. I'm sure there's a lot of things that you may not know that may be harmful for you and you can definitely check it now going forward to see what you need to stop using or what you need to continue using. So I do hope that you found this video very helpful. So per usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys. I can get fly, 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 fly. I can get fly.